hi guys, uh, uh, I, um, switchboard is slowly coming together, um, that's it right now, not, it's not wide fully yet, um, these are the, um, three transformers to power the, uh, coils on these three phase relays, um, these are my circuits, uh, circuit breakers to power each and every circuit this board will be feeding. And I've got more uh, DIN rails so I can actually have um, <clears throat> um, more, uh, more, I can add more circuits on. And I also can add another contactor on this too, another three phase on if I want to. Um, but uh, three phase contactors are extremely expensive and I actually had these lying around. Um, I bought everything else except for the circuit breaker, this little 10 amp one, the PDL, and um, the two bus bars up there. Uh, I need to buy some wood so two pieces can go up here and then a whole flat would be here that could actually open. So it's quite cool. My wiring is a bit messy but I'm not used to wiring boards so this is just my first time I've used zip ties for here and this is all 2.5 um, this output here is going to be 1.5 feeding these transformers because I'm I'm, always, I'm gonna so these, these are if the fault happens with one of the coils and it trips and whatever blah 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 circuit breaker just there so pretty much everything is isolated like via like a circuit breaker so if anything has their own faults, I've even got a main breaker just here and a main RCD. Um, RCBOs are stupidly expensive, so um, a main RCD would just be perfectly fine. And um, because if, I, if, if there's something wrong, either I've created the earth fault via just making an earth fault, not by grabbing the life, but by accidentally doing something wrong, um, or just something's gone wrong and it's caused an earth fault, a mini earth fault. Uh, so what will happen is um, how I'll test if what circuit's got the RCD trip fault. I'll reset the RCD, turn on the main, and power each and every circuit, see which one it is. So just say if it's the 16 amp one, which would be um, the auxiliary power point, which would be just here. So these are all mounted up nicely. Um, there's the variac here I'm using as a lamp stand, and it's quite messy. This is another switch. That's a switchboard, um, but that uh, this that that's for another reason. Don't worry. Um, so yeah, diagrams and stuff like that. I'm kind of following and um, homemade drills. So I've pretty much got everything up here ready to go. Just got all my tools drill another little drill that's for drilling holes that's for screwing stuff in that's the power supply to power the orange drill because the orange drill had a 14 volt battery but that broke so um yeah um current voltage just I had to say 222 volts it actually dropped down to 215 when I powered on the heater but um that heater has a fault so I need to use another one Got my electricity meter ready for service here, um, so that's going to be powering the non-essential stuff like the um, TVs, maybe even yeah, t everything that's powered from this extension cord from that socket outlet down there will be um, from, via that electricity meter. Um, I may bring the another one, or I might buy another one. I'll probably buy another one that goes up to 60 amps to. Um, give me uh to give me distribution board service so yeah excited so um that's about it guys so um until next time thank you for watching